Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. This record-breaking cold snap continues with temperatures even now running not only well below normal, but on tap to uh, potentially break for the record for the coldest high temperature during the afternoon. We'll get out of this record-breaking cold air. Milder weekend moving in. That's our second weather headline, followed up by two soakers on the way. They do look like all rain, despite how cold it's been. Not a setup for us to see wintry weather, but rather rain that would cause us to have to keep an eye on rivers and streams for possibly some minor flooding. That'd be quite a turn right after this bitter cold air has been in place. North Kingstown with the sunshine and the nice difference today compared to yesterday. Well, we're a few degrees warmer than at this time yesterday, but we're also seeing a lot less wind. Very nice to be able to show you these calm winds out there and look how bone dry the air is. The relative humidity down to only 28%. If you're running out to do some shopping this afternoon, here's some of the temperatures at our local shopping zone. So Attleboro at 26, Providence right now at 27, Renthams up to 28, and we're just below that 30 degree mark in Cranston as well as New Bedford. Wind chills pretty similar to the actual air temperature. So again, a day where you'll need to bundle up, but also bring your sunglasses. We're dry everywhere and expecting to stay that way with the sunshine continuing into the late afternoon. Our temperatures drop into the mid and upper 20s overnight tonight, and then they don't change much from there. So not nearly as cold tomorrow morning. In fact, 7 a.m. tomorrow, already sitting close to 30 degrees, quite the turn from this morning's cold air. So where's the change coming? Well, the cold that's out over the northeast will be replaced by some of this milder air that you see over the Midwest and Ohio Valley. High pressure is going to slide to the east and our next system going to come our way. So that's the trade off. We get the mild air and dry skies in the morning on Saturday, but by the evening hours, and I'm thinking not until after eight or nine o'clock in the evening, we'll see the leading edge of rain moving in. This is 10 p.m. Saturday night. So if you do have plans to be out Saturday night, maybe you got a holiday party to attend, you'll need some rain gear with you for later in the evening. Rain could fall heavy at times overnight into first thing Sunday morning. Lingering drizzle and some fog in the morning hours on Sunday, but we have a little lull in between weather systems in the afternoon and nighttime on Sunday. Then here comes number two, area of low pressure at 8 o'clock on Monday morning. Moving our way will bring rainfall in for the afternoon on Monday. This one, the track is a little bit more supportive of at least some snow over the central and northern parts of New England. We're still thinking this will fall in the form of rain for us in southern New England, but it is something that we'll keep an eye on. Seven day forecast. How much rain are we talking? Well, about one to two inches of rain for our region. That would bring monthly rainfall totals to nearly 10 inches by Tuesday. So 31 degrees for today. A nice increase in those afternoon highs for tomorrow. Increasing clouds dry though. Good day to do a little local shopping to uh, you know, set up your holiday decorations. 50 with those showers on Sunday and then Monday into Tuesday damp for heading back.